opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The modern defense plays g6 to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up for more development. bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and puts more pressure on the d5 square. c6 controls the d5 square and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is good. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This captures a bishop and eliminates a threat. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This defends the attacked bishop. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to fork pieces. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This loses material. It is a blunder. This wins material. It is a great move. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 